my name is Tina and this is going to be my first video on YouTube. Here on my YouTube channel we're going to be posting lifestyle videos and also mommy videos. Today I'm going to be posting a video on uh, what I'm going to do differently with my second child. So one main thing that I important to me that I wanted to do differently with my second child is be patient on breastfeeding. So when I had my son Matthew, I was not very patient with breastfeeding at all. It took me three days for uh, my milk supply to completely come in, but I felt like when he was born, he was just wanting milk so bad and I felt like I was starving him. Uh, there was like a little bit of milk coming out, like a few drops here and there, but it wasn't like a lot. And I remember the nurses telling me, it's okay, be patient. It'll be worth it once you stick to it. But honestly, I lost my patience because I thought I was starving my son. And I started to feed him formula and breast milk. So this time around, I know for sure that it takes time to come in and they're not just joking with me. I don't know why I thought they were. And I'm, I'm really going to be patient with it because I really want to stick to it and not do formula and breast milk because that really destroyed my supply as well. Another thing that I wanted to do differently with my second baby is no co-sleeping. So when I had my son Matthew, all I wanted to do was hold him. It was insane. <laughs> I thought at one point that he was so used to being held um, and I regretted it so much. I mean, I enjoyed all the snuggles, but it was like when it came time to transition him into his own room, it was very, very hard. He would cry a lot. Uh, I had to rock him until he fell asleep. And even when I rocked him, it's like whenever I put him down, he would wake up knowing that it's not my bed. And it, it was just terrible. So I'm definitely not co-sleeping this time around. I'm going to keep him in his bassinet and... Um, if I need to breastfeed, I'll, you know, feed him and then put him back. One big thing also that I wish I did whenever I had Matthew was make freezer meals. For some reason, I thought I was going to have all this energy to do everything, like cook and clean or whatever. Um, and so I was like, oh, I don't really need to do that. So I never even made freezer meals, but I wish I did because I was so exhausted. I never even took time to sleep and nap whenever he did. I just was up doing everything on earth, like laundry, you know, cleaning, sweeping, mopping, everything that you can think of. I was just doing it all. I, I did not sit still and I regret that so much. So I definitely will be making freezer meals this time around that I could pop in their crock pot or just make really quickly so I don't have to worry about eating out all the time because we ate out a lot when Matthew was born. I mean, I did not gain a lot of weight whenever I was pregnant with him, but I definitely gained it after I gave birth to him. <laughs> One last thing that I will do differently also is accept help. Um, whenever I had my son Matthew, I actually developed postpartum depression because I did not take time for myself. I I never took time to nap whenever he napped. So throughout the night, I was constantly up with him and I had no sleep. I did not take time to take care of myself and I felt like I was losing myself. Even though I really loved being a mom, but I was starting to be a bit resentful um towards him and it was not his fault at all but I'm definitely gonna accept help whenever you know it comes my way um and not turn it in another direction this time so definitely that's that's one of the main things that if I were to give advice to a new mom is to accept help because honestly you you need to take care of yourself so that you can take care of your child um and I think that's very important second child and or a third child and there's something that you want to do differently with that child definitely share that in the comments below I would love to hear what you guys are doing differently because every mom is different every child's different um thank you so much for watching and have a great day